What's up and welcome back, it's your tech Edit here. Today I'll be reviewing and testing iMyPhone's Any Recovers Data Recovery Tool. And this recovery tool will save you from losing your files such as photos, videos, or even highly classified files or even documents. Today we'll find out. You might not actually be needing this particular tool today, tomorrow, or maybe next week. But what if you accidentally delete something really important and you really need to restore it at that particular time in the future? This is when data recovery software tools comes in. Before we test iMyPhone's Any Recovers data recovery tool, let's take a look at the pricing model of this particular software. This software comes with free, monthly, and yearly and a lifetime plan. The main difference between between the paid and free version is that in the free version you can recover only up to 8 files but if you want to recover more than 8 files then you'll have to purchase a license. The monthly plan costs around $49 while the yearly plan costs around $59 and lastly the lifetime costs $79 for one computer or PC. Another good thing about any recovery software is that it has a 30-day money-back guarantee. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see here that can I claim a refund after buying the program, you can see that they would offer a 30-day money-back guarantee if ever the software fails to resolve or recover your files or data. For me personally, it is best to try out first the software if it can find the files that you are looking for before purchasing a license. Luckily, there's a free tier for this particular data recovery software. So let's now go to our computer. You can download and try the software for free by downloading the free version first in anyrecover.com forward slash data dash recovery dash free. As you can see on their website, they support recovery of files from different data loss situations such as deleted files or emptied recycled bin formatted data recovery or lost partition, external device data recovery such as your external storage or even your memory card in case a particular virus damage your files or a system crash cause the deletion of files or when your drive or storage device becomes a raw partition. It supports also virus file formats. I won't get into the details of this one but you can see that it supports to retrieve documents, graphics, videos, audio, email, and other files. Next, insert your device or the storage device you want to recover your files from. So I'm going to reformat this particular flash drive that I've just inserted. I'm going to click on the format button and then we're going to run a quick format to erase all the data on this particular drive. As you can see that the storage device or my flash drive is now currently empty. You cannot see any files right here except this particular hidden folder but this is just some system files on it. Now let's now open up the Enrecovers recovers tool. Once installed, you'll be shown with this kind of interface. I'll be looking the storage device from the external removable devices as you can see here that this is the 28 gig flash drive right here. So I'm just going to check this one. If you cannot see your storage device, you can just simply click on the refresh button right here. Once you are able to locate which particular storage device you're going to recover, click on the start button. It will perform a deep scan and it's supposed to take quite a while, maybe a few minutes or even hours. So we're just going to pause this video until this scanning is complete. All right, now that you can see that the scan is complete, it will show you this particular pop-up message. Simply click on the OK button. On the left pane of this particular tool, you can see various file categories such as photos, videos, audio, document, archive, email, and other. If we're looking to retrieve some documents, then we're going to check on the documents folder. So you can see here under the documents, you can see various RTF files or some text files, HTML files, and other even PDF files that are still available for recovery. However, some files might not be available anymore here or they might no longer be recoverable. The free edition of the software gives you the opportunity to check whether the files you are looking for or you would want to recover are still found by this particular recovery tool before purchasing a license especially if you are going to recover more than eight files if you want to preview this particular file you could do so by double clicking on it and it should generate you a preview for the particular file so if you're going to recover let's say this particular credits that rtf document we're just going to click on the checkbox right there and click on the recover button and it should ask you where do you want 
want to save that particular recovered file so we're just going to save that on my desktop so hit the ok button and it's already recovered right there being able to explore and try any recover myself I can say that it meets the standards and expectations when it comes to data recovery software tools. The interface is easy and straightforward to use even non-tech users would be able to understand what they're working on. Although the scanning takes a while but that's normal for recovery tools as they scan each and every individual sector in your storage device. The recovery process itself is fast and simple. I got to get the original file intact even if I perform a quick format on the drive which is the type of formatting that's usually perform when somebody's reformatting a particular storage device. Along with the other tools I've tested, overall I would recommend any recovery for your data recovery needs. It does the job quite well and without any hiccups, hence I believe it's a great tool for data recovery plus the price of this product is way cheaper than competitors that I've previously reviewed. So that's about it, hopefully this video enlightened you how you could recover files or lost and deleted files on your storage devices. Feel free to leave your comments and feedbacks in the comment section down below. Also I would appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button to get more helpful tech stuff in the future. It's your tech edit here, see you in my next videos.